We're back here on I Am Second Day in which we are challenging you to go from viewing to doing. In other words, move beyond just consuming I Am Second content. Use our tools and training to help you share the message of Jesus with others. All of this is detailed at the I Am Second website, IamSecond.com. But there are a few ways to tangibly do this today. First, learn how to tell your story. And we have a spot at IamSecond.com to teach you how to do this. Next, share with someone. That might only be an I Am Second film, or your story, or even God's story, the gospel. Be bold. It may be exactly what they're needing today. Yeah, in fact, just the other day, we received a note from a man who received an email from us back in July. It's hot off the press, and I want to read to y'all what he said. He said, I don't know if this is a real person, but I wanted to say the exact moment when I received this email from I Am Second, I was in the middle of texting someone to tell them my life was over, I couldn't live like this anymore. But this email showed up on my screen in the middle of that text. I broke down and I went from Kentucky to Florida the next morning to rehab. There I found God and I have been living for him ever since. If it weren't for this email, I would have died on the bathroom floor that day. So whoever this is, thank you for following the Lord. I mean, responses like this encourages our organization and keeps us committed to telling God's story. I mean, we never really know who's on the other side who may see a film, open an email, or be scrolling on social media and come across an impactful piece of content at just the right time that God wants. I mean, we're just there to be faithful and obedient. And that's where our next interview comes from. Jeff and Cheryl Scruggs' story was one of the first films released by I Am Second 15 years ago. Little did they know at the time just what kind of impact their story could have on others. And it's my pleasure to welcome back to the Hope Center our good friends Jeff and Cheryl Scruggs. And I say welcome back to the Hope Center because we're sitting in the lobby, one of the lobbies of our offices, the Hope Center, right. and the cafes nearby and people are just milling around here on I Am Second Day. But also because you officed here we in did. the building for a lot of years. We ten did. Ten years, yeah. Yeah, ten uh -huh. years. It was yeah. a, a great place to office. And yeah. I Am Second came alongside of you back in 2008, 2009, and we launched your film in 2009 in which you relayed your story mm -hmm. of divorce, separation, reconciliation, mm -hmm. and how long have you been married now since <laughs> since you got back together? Yeah, how long have you been married to? Uh, <laughs> oh man, you're from the outside. This is our 25th year. Yeah. It'll be 25 in October. Yeah, yeah. So when you told that story to us back then, what did you expect? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, well, I mean, I think we, yeah, we had just launched our ministry full time. I had just left my full time uh, corporate career. And so it was really, it was a springboard for us as well, because what happened was after people watched the story, many people reached out, contacted us, read our book. And, um, you know, it was just a, it was just a great opportunity to, you know, launch the whole ministry, really. And then since then, we've had so many people contact us that have watched our story and they've taken that leap of faith and just like, you know, contacted us, which was great. What we expected is for God to use it to give other couples hope. Yeah. We were uh, married for 10 years. We were divorced for seven and God restored our marriage in 1999. And because of that, we wanted to offer that hope uh, for others um, that are really struggling in their marriages or have no hope for it to be reconciled, per, per, you know, possibly, or just even uh, have a healthier marriage. Yeah. So you told the story, people have responded, but a lot has happened in 15 years mm -hmm. since That's that true. time. A lot, lot for your family, yeah. a lot for yeah. the world, a lot of marriage differences that have happened in the world today. Mm -hmm. So how have you navigated that journey of the 15 years? God has uh, been very faithful to walk with us in all these things. Um, I think what you're referring to, John, is uh, Lauren's accident in 2011. Mm -hmm. And again, we just uh, navigated in the same way. And, um, you know, her story's on I Am Second as well. Yeah. Uh, One of my favorites. Uh, so as you went through that and you, your ministry grew and more people have contacted you, 
Then this year, we find out that you had been ministering to Paul Walter Hauser and his wife, Amy. Yes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how that even occurred with them? Yeah, it, it's really fun. Um, so I have a podcast for women called Thriving Beyond Belief. I've been doing it for almost eight years. And uh, I got a contact from Amy on Instagram and she said, I listen to your podcast. I know about you and Jeff's story. Um, I would like to uh, see if we could have a conversation. And so it started like that. And this was, gosh, a couple years ago, maybe. And so we started conversing and then she told me she was standing for reconciliation and what an encouragement our story had been for, for her. And at that time, there didn't seem like a lot of hope for their marriage. And so I feel privileged to be able to have walked alongside her in that during that time. And then, um, you know, when she and, and Paul started talking again and Jeff got involved in that at that part at that time. And uh, we've been able to walk with them through, gosh, even getting back together, as everyone will hear Be in their story. Be married. Beautiful and, story. You know, one of the things that Paul talked about in his, in his part of that story is the accountability that's necessary, not just for him, but for all men. Yeah. Iron sharpens iron as one man to another, right? And it's so critical for all of us men to have accountability in our life and have, you know, a few guys that know us fully and can encourage us, be there during the tough times to encourage us. Also, it, it rejoice in all that the Lord has done in your life. And, mm -hmm. and I think in Paul's case, you know, I think about all that he has overcome and that what God has done and to restore their marriage mm -hmm. and the platform that they have and how they've used it mm -hmm. to glorify God is just, a, you know, it's just another story that exemplifies what you're talking about, how men need other men in their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm excited to hear people's response to the Hauser story because what I've been so impressed with is their honesty, their vulnerability, uh, authenticity, just authenticity yeah. uh, and just d the desire to do it God's way and to be obedient, walk through the tough stuff, be honest about when we're walking through tough stuff all of those kinds of things. And it's it's an encouragement for us, I oh, know. Yeah. Well, on your podcast, mm -hmm. what are you sensing is the common themes that you hear uh, from women who you're speaking with? The gist of the podcast encompasses helping women thrive in all areas. So spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, vocationally. And it's, uh, need to see the honesty because I, I find guests that are very honest and vulnerable. And so a particular guest may speak to a specific woman. And um, some of the guys that I've had on uh, just are super honest. And I think it's just all of us being open and vulnerable to where we need to grow. And I love seeing how women really wanna grow. and. That's very encouraging for me. Well, speaking of growing, one of the themes that we have for I Am Second Day is taking action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for people who are stuck where they are, mm -hmm. afraid to take those next steps, what is your encouragement for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, fear can be a paralyzing you know, thing. And you know, all of us have struggled at some point in our life, right? And so we've all needed help and we all still need help. And I think about back in my life, and um, the men that have come alongside of me and encouraged me and helped me and held me up in difficult times, such as Lauren's accident, we all need to take that step and ask for help. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff, Cheryl, thank you for returning back to the Hope Center here and sharing with us here on I Am Second Day. We thank you and your ministry so much. Thank you. And thank it's you, a privilege to be here, John. I just love how God already had this mapped out from the beginning. Not only did he bring reconciliation to their marriage, but then he used them to bring reconciliation to so many other marriages, including the Housers. And we get to tell their story on I Am Second too. I mean, it's really actually come full circle. That's part of the power that comes from I Am Second's 15 year history. There's an exposure of older stories that are still impacting many years after they were released. Mm. And we are constantly looking for new stories to share. 
And that's why today we're asking you to join with us financially to help us tell these stories to more and newer audiences. We are committed to sharing authentic, compelling stories that help move people to the next step in their journey. But this is not just grabbing your iPhone for a spur of the moment shot. We take time with each story to craft a film that provides value to the viewer and with that comes a significant cost. Your gift of any size today can help us meet the annual goal to produce, distribute, and reach people across the world. In fact, every $10 given allows us to reach a thousand people with the content that helps build God's kingdom. And on I Am Second Day, every gift from a new donor to I Am Second will be matched by an existing generous donor. There's a lot more to come today. In fact, we're going right up till midnight. So stay with us, keep checking in with us on I Am Second Day.